Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido, and I wanted to do this quick training video on a new feature that Facebook has come out with since making this video called Detailed Targeting. So I'm in my ad manager right now, and um, I've created an ad to where I want to go ahead and target a specific audience. Well, in this case, it's a detailed audience specific targeting of an audience. And I want to walk you through the prospect, uh, the process and kind of show you some of the possibilities that are available to you. Now, everybody may not have this yet. As of making this video, they're still rolling this out. You may actually have it, so check in your ad manager. But I want you to be aware that this is available because it's really powerful when it comes to getting more detailed with your targeting. So I've already set up the campaign. I'm now in the ad set where we're gonna say to Facebook, okay, I've got an ad here. I wanna put this ad in front of a certain audience. So I've said already, target the people in the United States, target people from the age range of 20 to 65, target people that are all men or women. And then I'm coming down to detailed targeting. So this is the new part. So what I might want to do is let's just say I've got a webinar that I'm promoting and I'm creating a Facebook ad around that. And it's really going to be teaching people about internet marketing or how to build their brand online. And I know that my audience typically are people who are looking to build their businesses online. Um, they have online programs that they're promoting. They're doing internet marketing. So I want to get this ad in front of let's just say all the people who like Ryan Dice because I know he's an internet marketer I bet his audience or the people who are interested in him would really be interested in this webinar so right now as you can see we're reaching about 410,000 people so they're in the United States they're from the age range of 20 to 65 plus and they have to like Ryan Dice now let's come down here next to exclude people here's where some of this is new now, maybe there are some people who actually like Ryan Dice, but now I want to actually exclude the people that might actually be network marketers because they may not get a lot of value out of this type of webinar that I'm promoting. And I know that a lot of network marketers like Network Marketing Pro. So now what I'm telling Facebook is, is go ahead and target the people who like Ryan Dice, but pull out the people in that audience that like Network Marketing Pro. So now I'm, I'm hopefully weeding out some people who like Network Marketing. Um, and now we're down to 280,000 people. We can even narrow that audience even more. So we would click on Narrow Audience right here, and another little box will pop up right here. And now I wanna make sure that I'm really targeting not just people that like Ryan Dice, but hardcore internet marketers. So I want to know that they like internet marketing leaders out there because that's my audience. So I bet Frank Kern is another great person to target. So now I'm telling Facebook, all right, Facebook, I want you to target people who like Ryan Dice and they must also like Frank Kern, but exclude the people that like network marketing in this uh, network marketing pro in this audience. So do you see how powerful that is? Um, you can even narrow even further and add in a, another type of internet marketing um, option. Like let's say they have to also like ClickBank. All right, so you could keep going down and really narrowing this audience down. So what I've done here is I've probably put together um, a good amount of people that I know are very much into internet marketing if they're following Ryan Dice, if they like ClickBank, or they're following Frank Kern. And that's gonna be pretty powerful when it comes to getting my ad in front of the right detailed specific audience. How is this a little different? Well, before you would specify who you wanted to target up here in this one box and you would say something like, all right, let me target all the people that like Ryan Dice and Frank Kern and Mike Dillard, or it's not really and, it's Ryan Dice, or they can like Frank Kern, or they can like Mike Dillard, or they can like ClickBank. So with doing the narrow audience, you're doing the and. I need them also to like Frank Kern and internet marketing and Ryan Dice. So that's one example. Another cool example is, is you can use this browse button and you can start getting into like demographics. So I could say, okay, go ahead and create this Facebook ad and I want to target people that have an income of 250,000 to 350,000. Let's keep going. Um, let's go ahead and include 150,000 to 250,000, uh, 125 to 150, 100 to 125. So this is the income range that I want to target, okay? So right now I'm telling F Facebook it can be any of this income range, all right? Then from there, I might wanna exclude people, again, 
I can use the browse or I could say, I don't want anybody who, you know, happens to be in the network marketing industry or, you know, for you, you if you're in health and wellness, maybe you want to not target people in CrossFit or you not, or you don't want to target the people who like yoga or you want to exclude an audience that, you know, enjoys the biggest loser. So you can decide for what audience you want to exclude by putting that in here, or you can use the demographics or interests, behaviors, or more categories. So I've got a an interest, I mean, I've got an income range that I want to target. And not everybody who's watching this video may have this financial income demographics, but most of us do here in the United States, and most of the other countries do. But I'm just using this as an example for you so you can see all the other options. Now, I might want to say, okay, let's go ahead and just exclude people that are in agriculture. Um, they're in the business of being an architect. They're in the business of being uh, in the banking industry. So now I've excluded an audience out of this income range. Then the next thing that I might want to do is I might want to come down here and I want to even narrow this audience down more. And I want this income range, but yet I want to make sure that they like Frank Kern. All right, or we can go into the demographics again. So now I'm telling Facebook, which honestly this exclude part doesn't make sense for, for what I'm doing here, but I'm just showing that you can do that. Um, so right now I'm targeting people who have this income range. Um, it looks like 125,000 or 100,000 up to 350,000 and they must also like Frank Kern. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click out that exclude audience here. And see how that jumped up to 56,000? So apparently um, by me putting agriculture in there and whatever else I put in there, um, they had those people had that type of job, which is in this 56,000. Because a second ago when I had agriculture in there, exclude the people who are into farming, um, this was down at 34,000. Um, so this is a really cool option here, detailed targeting. You definitely want to use this in your marketing to get more specific. I like the exclude people and you don't have to stop there. You can narrow it down even further. And and say, you know, I also want to make sure that they like, um, you know, Mike Dillard. And you can put that right there and it's going to drop your audience down even lower. Now, if you don't want to drop your audience down even lower and say and, meaning they must like Frank Kern and they must like Mike Dillard, you could do the or. You could add Mike Dillard here. And you can say, all right, you know, create this ad and put it in front of the people who are in this income range and... They must also be interested in Frank Kern or Mike Dillard. So it's either or, all right? So you're still at 61,000 people. Just read over here on the right of your audience definition so you see what you're targeting. But by combining Frank Kern and Mike Dillard in this box here, I'm telling Facebook either or, okay? They don't need to like both. But if you do narrow further and you were to put Mike Dillard in a different box, that's telling Facebook that they must like Frank Kern and they must like Mike Dillard also. So I hope you got a lot of value out of this. Uh, detailed targeting is really a great option. I love what Facebook is doing with this. You know, they're really, they're always coming out with great features for us marketers to make our marketing better. You know, so we're advertising and getting better results. This is a, another example of one of the, the, the features that have just recently come out that I'm super excited about. So I hope you are too. Um, it's just going to be one of those things that you should just get in here. You should start playing around with it, testing it out, see what's available to you and, um, you know, start doing the, the detailed targeting so you can get more specific with the type of audience that you want to target and the specific audience that you want to exclude. So you're not attracting a specific audience that maybe you don't want to work with, or you don't want those people to buy from you. Um, so make sure you exclude those and use that in your targeting. Uh, if you got a lot of value in this, be sure to share this video and uh, leave me a comment below. I will also put a link below this video. It has my latest Facebook course. It's got the most up-to-date information that'll help you build your business online using Facebook. It's everything from A to Z. So I'll see you in the next training video. Bye-bye.